Hello, friend, and welcome to the DM's Craft. Today I want to talk about this uh, cool troll bridge that I made for the latest Quest Givers module called Mountain Clans. And uh, yeah, so here's the bridge itself. It's basically a home hanging underneath the bridge. And then here's where the bridge kind of connects to the cliff. So let's talk about this a bit and then we'll uh, come back and uh, I'll show you some pictures of what it looks like for the module. As all my projects has just started very simply with three pieces of cardboard hot glued together and then curled a little bit so I can get the curve of the bridge. I kind of roughed the edge of the bridge up there uh, to make it like it looked like it was destroyed, right? Now I also put uh, pebbles on the edge of the, of the bridge. I just hot glue those on. Now they don't want to stick on very well so what I did later on was I used some modeling paste to uh, kind of give texture and secure it more to the bridge. Now the under part was going to be the troll home and I just used some cardboard here with uh, you know I built up the sections and then just filled it with paper towels uh, soaked with uh, white uh, glue Elmer's glue all and you can see here more detail so I've attached the underhang to the bridge itself and I've got some uh, vines that are going to be coming off the edge that are holding actually rocks uh, that came loose from the bridge so let's hit my table and I'll show you the completed project all right, guys, you can see the completed thing. I've skipped quite a bit, right? I just showed you kind of some of the basic techniques I was using to do it, but I'll fill you in a little bit here on this, uh, you know, what's going on. So I wanted to keep the front and the bridge separate because I wanted to determine the angle when I photographed it, so I kept that separate. Also, I can use this for another craft, right? I can use it for something else as well as in my game, so that's pretty cool. This is just foam core with some, you know, pebbles and stuff on it. That's it. That's, that's all that is, and a little bit of cardboard on the bottom there. Now, the bridge itself, I'm just really, really happy with this troll house, like, hanging under the bridge. And you can see this, the pebbles I put on the side. I did glue gun vines on it, just drag the glue gun. Uh, you know, I added a bunch of detail and texture on this, uh, you know, with the vines and everything with the glue gun. I really like these vines at the front where they're grabbing stones because the troll uses magic to hold this bridge to the cliff and the vines kind of intertwine in the stones and do that. And I really like that the stones are kind of, you know, being grasped by the vines here on the end. I got little pieces of, uh, you know, plant here hanging off. So really cool. And what I did for these, for these kind of windows here is I, did uh, hot glue on a whack piece of wax paper and then glued it to it and I painted everything of course and here's like the hole where the troll goes into the home because he's kind of like apish he like climbs down and this kind of thing so a lot of fun so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this let's hit my table and I'll show you what it'll look like when I actually photographed it for the module mountain clans here's my setup to photograph the bridge right and uh, you can see I have a, actually have a dice box holding the bridge up for the photograph. So I'm just going to Photoshop that all out when I create the picture for the module. So very cool, very cool. So what I thought we'd do now is have my fellow quest giver, Gareth, read you the actual encounter from the module Mountain Clan. The trail winds up to a deep ravine. A colossal crack in the mountain has formed a natural division between one mountain range and the next. The depths of the crack are unfathomable. Unstable cliff faces and broken rocks make anything but going across the wide chasm virtually impossible. Ahead you see an old bridge protruding out from the trail into the gap. It seems sturdy, but it does not continue to the other side. The other half must have collapsed at some point in the past. It is unclear how the structure remains intact. As you approach, you notice a large underhang structure clinging onto the underside of the bridge with thick vines, like a baby clinging to its mother. Near the bridge, a few mountain goats graze on some grasses. From under the bridge, a large rock flies through the air and strikes a goat. The rest scurry away into the rocks nearby. Bloody goats! growls a deep voice from below the bridge. A huge hairy hand grips the edge of the cliff and a great shaggy old troll pulls himself up onto the trail in front of you. He has a large barrel-like torso and long ape-like limbs, perfect for climbing. Who's been loitering near my bridge? He grumbles, menacingly shaking a fist at you. If you want to see more, visit questgivers.com, where you can pick up this awesome adventure as well as many other new gaming products.